everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid and this is my review of the Drobo S. This is the Drobo S here and I'm showing you in a little bit of a different situation this time instead of being on my normal presentation table this is in situ on the desk next to my iMac you can just see the corner of my iMac here and the Drobo S is a backup storage device but it's a very special uh, backup device and I want to describe what is almost a genius design it's really really smart the front of the unit is held on by sort of magnets so it's very easy to take off and on the back of this glossy front door it tells you about the LED lights and there's LED lights all the way down the front of the unit here I'll show you this once I switch it on and they glow or flash different colors depending on the status of the hard drives inside so if it's green, it means the system's healthy. If it's amber, it means you add, need to add a new drive in that particular bay. If it's flashing amber green, you don't need to remove the drive. If it's red, you can add a drive here. And if it's flashing red, it means one of your drives has failed. Now, this Drobo S will accept up to five three and a half inch SATA drives. And they're very easy to remove. You've just got these gray tabs here and the drive easily slides out, it's just a standard three and a half inch SATA drive connection on the end and then to pop it back into the drive you just need to slide it into the door there and then locate it, push it into place so that is now installed into the Drobo S now around the back there is one eSATA port two Firewire 800s and a USB 2 port there's also a little flick switch for the power which I'm going to power on now and whilst this is starting up I'll just replace the front panel now let me tell you a little bit more about the Drobo S uh, you need to install Drobo dashboard on your Mac or PC I'm going to be showing you this on screen as I'm speaking and Drobo dashboard allows you to set up the drive and format it and then you're basically ready to use your Drobo now the beauty of the Drobo S is that unlike regular RAID systems where you have to have the same size or same capacity hard drives in each bay, in the Drobo S you can mix and match different size hard drives and it adds up all of the different capacities and gives you one large volume that you can save to. But not only does it do that, it does this uh, uh, it's very special RAID file system that they've called Beyond RAID and that gives you a backup of all of your data so if one drive fails if I get one drive fail on here my data is still safe if I've got three drives installed I can actually configure this system so that it will make it safe for my data even if two drives fail so you've got either one drive backup or two drive backup if you get any failed hard drives now you can see the system has now started up I've got four bays here which have each got a two terabyte hard drive in they're all showing green which means they're all okay and you can see the Drobo dashboard inset on the screen which is showing how those particular bays are populated and all of the options the Drobo dashboard offer back to the hardware device itself we've got a power on indicator here and also some blue LEDs along the bottom and this is a capacity indicator so these will gradually fit up blue as more and more data is saved to the Drobo S. So you've got that protection from data loss if either one or two hard drives fail and also if you run out of space on the Drobo S you don't have to worry about which drive to replace you just pop one out and then pop a larger hard drive in its place. The LED feedback's great the Drobo dashboard is extremely easy to use and for peace of mind knowing that my data is backed up I really wouldn't use anything else now I've been extremely impressed during my tests of the Drobo S now I should just mention that when you do first turn it on you have to decide whether you're going to format it as HFS Plus which will only work on a Mac NTFS for using on a Windows based PC or FAT32 which will work on both systems do a little bit of research first there are ways that you can access HFS Plus on a Windows PC and there are ways that you can access NTFS hard drives on a Mac system so do a little bit of research first I've gone for HFS Plus because I mainly use it on the Mac 
and I've installed a piece of software on my PC in case I need to write to the Drobo from my PC as well. Now it's going to cost you £565 for the Drobo S in the UK, $699 in the US. I think this is a solid performer. Really, really pleased with how it both looks and performs. This has been my review of Data Robotics Drobo S. Thank you very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.